scroll is a scroll. And when you look at ancient scrolls, uh, uh, the, the way they were written, that they were written on one side. And in the left hand, you held the one side of the scroll. And then you use your right hand to open the scroll because you were to read the scroll from left to right. However, what John saw with this scroll was something different. He did not see a scroll written on one side. He saw that the scroll was written on both sides. And that all of the information the scroll contained was too massive, almost to the point to where the scroll couldn't contain all of the information that was on it. And this is what John saw. But, ladies and gentlemen, the significance of the book with the seven seals is not necessarily the information that's in it, but it's the fact that it had seven seals. It's not what's written on the scroll that I want to bring your mind to. I want you to look at the seals that were on the book. It's one scroll with seven seals. What we learn in Roman law that anytime you see a document with seven seals, that document is a wheel. The document <laughs> is a wheel. It's, it's not just an ordinary document. Anytime seven seals enclose a document, it is because that document is a wheel. It's a wheel, which means that only a person justified opening the book or the seal can be the person whose will is in the document. Unless that person has given legal right to another to open it, only the person who has the will written on the scroll with the seven seals is worthy to open it. So the question that tends to be asked in theology as we see it in the scripture, who is worthy to open the seals? This is the case that John apologetically, in other words, he's building a case, he's defending, he's arguing who is worthy to open the seals. And, and the reason why he's doing it is because he's trying to help us that Jesus, who is the expressed of the visible God is the only one that's worthy to open the seven seals. And the reason why is because he has the blood. And he's the one that paid the sacrifice. He's the one that executed the will of the Father who he is at the same time. 